Hey, what's up again? This is Mr. Sonny James coming back to you from home in Los Angeles. In the last video, I showed you the basic setup for live streaming using one computer and OBS. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get going with a bit more advanced setup using two computers. Live streaming can be done in a number of ways, but I found that the process that works best for me is with DJing from one computer and streaming from another. This configuration allows me to run Serato video and stream from Tidal with live playlists running. I've also been able to run my browser in the background in case I need to check the chat on Twitch. On the streaming computer, I have three camera angles and a layer for Serato video to run full screen, and I'm still only using around 20% of my CPU on average. This should definitely help eliminate the strain on your DJ laptop. When I first started live streaming, I had to do a detailed inventory of items I had in the mix and acquire a couple more during a pandemic. Now that more things have opened up in the world, it's likely a bit easier to acquire some of the following items. Here's the gist of what you'll need. A laptop computer with Serato DJ Pro 2.4 or above. A second computer with at least four gigs of RAM and at least an AMD FX series or Intel i5 dual or quad core processor. A decent graphics card can help, but OBS is more CPU intensive. So when it comes to a secondary computer for streaming, many people prefer using a PC laptop or desktop, mainly because of the value to specs ratio. In other words, the processing capabilities available at a low cost often make a Windows machine more attractive. You'll also need an audio interface. So most USB audio interfaces will be good to go. You'll just need to connect your mixer or controller to it with some RCA, XLR, or quarter inch cables. Then connect it to your streaming computer and install any necessary drivers. I like to use the Mackie Big Knob Studio Plus monitor controller which allows you to monitor your audio from three different sets of speakers. You'll also need a working computer camera, separate webcam or iPhone, OBS software which can be downloaded for free at obsproject.com or streamlabs.com, DJ controller or mixer that works with Serato. You'll also need a solid internet connection hardwired with an ethernet cable. Again, you'll want an upload speed of at least eight megabytes per second. You can run a test on speedtest.net or fast.com. As we talked about last time, I like to use the free OBS software as it has a lot of functions that allows me to do a proper high quality stream. You can add things like movies, GIFs, scrolling images, and text. There are scene transitions with hotkeys and studio mode, which allows you to make changes to what's happening visually on another scene without your audience seeing it. It's kind of like queuing up the next record in your headphones. I especially like being able to save, import, and export different profiles for broadcasting to different channels or platforms. You can also save, import, and export your scene collections. The second computer setup is good for adding more than one camera to your streaming setup. I personally like to use the GoPro Hero 4, which requires video capture cards or a video switcher. If you want to go this route, I recommend using the EVGA XR1 card or the Elgato HD60 or HD60+. Plus. You can also connect multiple cameras to the Blackmagic Atom Mini or the Roland VR1 HD. These are two devices that are both professional and affordable. They'll also allow you to connect a set of DSLRs. Occasionally, people experience their video and audio being out of sync, out of, out of sync in OBS. In order to line it up, you may need to record several tests. But first, you'll want to go to Advanced Audio Properties and find the audio source and then select Sync Offset by however many milliseconds you feel is necessary. I usually start with big numbers at first to see a noticeable change right away. Once you have this all dialed in, you can start the fun part and get to streaming with a lot less resources being used on your DJ laptop. You can switch scenes with ease and create an overall dynamic experience for the folks who want to hear you perform. Listen, I know this is a lot of info to absorb. Nonetheless, going the extra mile with your stream should help bring people back to check you out again and again. Next time, we'll go through a few more advanced tips, including green screen setup and more. As always, I hope this info is useful to some of you out there. Once again, my name is Mr. Sonny James, West Coast Artist Relations for Serato, coming to you live and direct from the crib here in Los Angeles, and I'll see you all next time.